two pillars for a company tech and community that's the right way of acquiring right people through right content you know rather than have, having mass and then making them go idle i'm not against growth i'm against wrong growth little bit tweak your metrics maybe add a metric like member help that kind of that kind of growth strategy you use rather than just focusing on number like last month we have 3000 people uh, next month we need 9000 people don't try to do exponential all by yourself two ways you can help people monetary your reputation right okay help them in any way i told you community takes little time to reach up to that level and then it blast it has the the potential okay, to blast okay. but until then you have to keep on giving and keep on doing things that's a good angle let's do it then yo Shall we? You want to? Yeah. Like, yeah. Sure. Hey, uh, GM, GM, everyone. Uh, I'm Salman, and uh, welcome to Salman Needs a Job. I'm here uh, right now with uh, Paris uh, from the community folks. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Who uh, I think me and him actually have met in 2019 at a different conference a long time ago, but uh, you probably don't remember. But we have connected on uh, Twitter. I know that you're like the community guy. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the last time we spoke, I, you were working at Microsoft or whatever. And uh, you're working on community for many years, yeah. and now community is is a real thing, and uh, and also like you are launching uh, some you know media properties around this. So let's talk all about that. You're the guy to uh, learn about communities, and here we're gonna have a discussion about building communities. First, let's start with you know what's happening here, and uh, kind of just t- t- tell us what you're doing right. Now. All right, all right. Uh, for sure. First of all, uh, this boy. a uh, big shout out to him okay for capturing and taking all of this effort all around and like you know capturing good info so first of all thank you to the to that and thanks to you, you. and uh, yeah surely so this uh, over this whole thing when i'll be talking you will listen the word community probably over 50 times <laughs> because that's what i do and that's how i live and uh, community is not just a profession i think it's a lifestyle to me uh, yes i have been doing communities for more than half a decade now and uh, was doing it and shouting about it since it was not that cool people used to ask me uh, okay you run social media ads acha uh, uh, facebook chalate ho so people used to ask me these things but thankfully uh, god has listened and uh, what we looked for i think this is happening community is the thing right now uh, at least in the web3 space where we are sitting today yeah. two pillars for a company tech and community you know like yesterday this uh, event i went uh, sandeep uh, was there i was hosting it and and i actually make a video out of it where he is saying that that now comes the time when you need to have a co-founder as a community manager so it's a big statement i'm going to put that out as well and everybody please watch that too so what we are doing uh, we are doing community folks i'm doing community folks i'm the, yeah I meant, i meant like what you what's happening right now so you were uh, anchoring uh, I was hosting, uh, hosting hosting yeah that's that's like my part time thing like i love i love So to we are at a Web three job fair, and uh, yeah. he is uh, hosting it. Uh, just generally, I think let's go over your background a little bit. Just give us a quick uh, link, summary of your LinkedIn. Yeah, summary of my LinkedIn. Okay, you will probably find twenty uh, plus <laughs> companies where I have somehow contributed, did something because I have been uh, contributing as a as a community consultant or as a community advisor or as a community manager or some way uh, help them set up community. So this is what I do. Uh, community folks overall is an organization which helps brand build communities from zero to one. we use this model called cas uh which sounds like saas it's like community as a service and uh, we uh, give them a person from our side who will be fully sitting at their place and building the community for them face of their community but all the strategy and framework will be provide, provided by us so that's basically the community folks thing but uh, overall community folks works for the whole community management ecosystem and this is where this is where my whole past work has been uh, if i would have to choose just one job and work as a community manager i could have taken that i have taken that multiple times to survive but uh, but a lot of contribution to the ecosystem like you know uh, and from the time when it was not cool like you know doing the first community manager conference in india okay do launching the first state of community management report in india you know i've actually got yeah, that too. yeah yeah oh, and, uh, uh, i think uh, those awards those global awards were launched in 2020 and i luckily won the Glo- community professional of the year award wow. 2020 at least and on a global level so i think i think uh, uh, evangelizing for community management for indian ecosystem this is what we have been doing and this is what community folks is doing that's the whole background um right now i'm doing community folks under which uh, we have recently launched community 3.0 sounds like web 3.0 isn't it it's because it is for communities in web 3 so community 3.0 stands for all things community management in web 3 we have 
uh, until now 40 plus speakers have spoken in this whole series through twitter spaces through offline meetups through blogs through podcasts this is what we are making hardcore community communities we are drilling into down like you know going in depth there so doing that and then uh, i am also part of OG Club, I contribute there and uh, there is a reason I contribute there because because of the people uh, who are in there and the kind of uh, team building, the type, team feeling we have here for this. So I think that's why. So these are the few things I've been doing and I've been up to. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So let's understand like building communities. Okay. See, you said you, you, uh, you have community as a service where you have mm. a representative who mm. is there mm. to install your community. Yeah. Tell me the process. All right. So, cast, right? So, uh, brands, brands have a problem that they want to build community. Um, earlier, they need a community, even that was not clear. Luckily, now, everybody needs a community. Why? Because there's a FOMO. They are building, that's why I'm building. But even more clarity is not there. Why I need to build and for what I need to build. So, that clarity requires first strategy. I think that's a normal, normal way of doing anything. You know, like uh, there's a saying, right? You take 19 hours to sharpen the X and take one hour to, right. to cut it. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Go yeah. more for strategy. This is what we do yeah. because I have personally seen zero to one for communities, at least over two dozen times for mm-hmm. multiple communities, okay. you know, personally. So, so how it's been built, what you have to do? I can visualize that and, and can tell you. So this is what we do. This is what the uniqueness of community folks. So we give them someone from our team who's trained by us to become community manager at their place so that person will be the face of the community because every community needs a face this is the beauty of communities right it brings uh, your whole organization through a people to the people okay. yeah so we give them uh, one person like that then we give strategist on community specific like if it's a devrel community then developer strat- uh, devrel strategist or it's a women specific community then someone who has built a community for women so such kind of unique niche specific strategies we give and then the content so we do we do act- actually all things for for that like you know uh, it's like ex- community folks folks is like the extended team for that organization who does community we will help you launch a community we will help you do like real time content which will goes inside to your community we will help you moderate build relationship with your members we will we'll help you with planning events executing events like you know whatever it takes we'll help you launching programs like ambassador or fan program all such kind of thing and we'll help you figure out what what product to use how to which platform to use and how to use those feedbacks from community members for your product you know like all things which are required from community and required to build a community we do all of it that, that is a, i had so many questions through the process mm-hmm. but it didn't want to stop you you started with like why if brands need to understand why do they need a community so the question i have is like do every brand need a community that's a very good question yeah absolutely and every brand needs to ask this to themselves what is their core focus mm-hmm. okay and communities can be of multiple types you know like it's not required that maybe a B2B brands sometimes think they don't need a community, which is true because it's very difficult. Relationships can be built with a few uh, businesses and then that way also you can run. But still, these communities are required uh, wherever you want these people to become your fans and evangelist. You know, that is the that is the farthest outcome of a community through through the contribution you provide uh, in people's life, your members life through your product and community. They start talking about you and they become your evangelist. And I think there is no biggest marketing than word of mouth. I think I'm true on that. And that's been said. Absolutely, yeah? absolutely. So can you give me an example for people listening to understand an example of a brand that is just like killing it and people are just talking about it and it's a proud, you, you appreciate the community they have built. Oh, all right. I will go on for the, for the very basic one, which everyone can relate to. Okay. And, uh, and everyone must have seen uh, them somehow. So the community is called uh, for Harley Davidson, it's called Hogs okay. Harley Owner Group, okay. basically. And uh, so Harley is a bike, okay, just like Honda, okay, just like any other bike. So Honda just sells bike. You go, you buy a bike, you get Honda, come home. Yeah. But Harley sends you bike along with a set of people who has this passion for bike. You know, mm-hmm. they sells you these trips. They sells you these ex- early access uh, through that community, which you can get and and uh, you know uh, go and uh, try their new bikes or try the new merchandise which there. You know, so all that experience which comes along with buying that bike mm-hmm. makes Harley 
a game way beyond like you know from anyone those that's the that's the power of community that's how that whole brand has built themselves they build their hogs like you know uh, hog uh, mumbai hog uh, uh, la you know all those all those chapters and through that driven by people people are writing in and their whole marketing and whole thing are, are happening and the crazy part about that is to join a hog either you or someone in your family has to own a harley so ultimately it's harley right? yeah. what a yeah an expensive token yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. absolutely but that's great great example so the oh, that's really beautiful I, actually i had no idea so everyone who buys a harley yeah. also Can gets only. these utilities uh, throughout absolutely. their it's like life. Their, that nft was their buying only like one plus So uh-huh. to join their events, you you need to have I am a number of one plus. Then only you can get inside. So okay. so much a FOMO. Okay. If your friend is having call in these colleges, like uh, kids who are having one plus and having an iPhone, iPhone guy will not be able to get inside because he don't have that. So that's how communities are functioning. You mentioned FOMO. Are, is for what is what what role does FOMO play in in all this? Absolutely, it is. It is. So so uh, if you're building a community, don't build it for the generic thing. Go so. a community will survive really well when there will be circle around it when there will be a little bit gate when there will be a little bit of little friction for someone because because that thing has to be earned if you're not earning you will not even have a feeling of of being part of something you know like yeah. you need to earn by contributing to, to some somehow and contribution makes community that's the only thing you know rewards don't make it you give them rewards when they contribute don't give them rewards to lure okay just like people do for for getting adoption product adoptions are done by giving 5 rupees extra benefit 20% discount that is all right that is adoption but if you want to build a community let them you call them to acquire user but let them give them a way to contribute maybe contribution could be like the post that is contribution maybe comment something very small things can be contribute but let them do something then you reward them what what wrong is happening at least in the web3 world uh, the biggest problem which i feel is that the power of tokens has been used like has been misused mm. it's been abused they used it to get members in their discord by airdropping mm. they came they be, and now it became a habit so bad that they they just go see the airdrops go and do those things get it and then then so go bad. idle <laughs> go idle this is so sick this is so sad right yeah. this this should not be happening it should be other way around like you know you need to find and you don't even need those 2000 20000 people you just need like those 200 people who really support so let them let those supporting people come up you know like let them do those things you do the something you will do only when you feel like doing it and when you believe in your product when you do that take the tokens take the reward i think it should be other way around not in a wrong way please don't abuse tokens or run abuse rewards so what, like what is a community like if, if, if somebody is engaging with what you do is that is that is that person okay. see see uh, a user will become a member only when he contributes okay okay yeah so contribution is key yeah. to this before that he is just a user okay, okay? but he, to become a member you need to be like you know doing something because how community can be built it's a collective effort think about your house hmm. all five members in the house does something for the house hmm. that's why it's called house right it's not your father who's doing it it's everyone is contributing somehow then it, then you call it it's a house so how do you build that that's a small community i'm giving as an example yeah, yeah. but just yeah. just just think of it like you know yeah. like a house party okay my favorite example is house party hmm. uh you cannot run a house party without having contribution from everyone that's why b by ob is what right yeah. think of think of such parties the culture that's the culture you bring your own thing so everybody who will be bringing will be thinking also about this you know like everybody wants to contribute and make sure that things happen really nice it's similar to to that the same concept goes in building a community you have to but you have to help your members find ways to contribute what people does they open up this space like our discord is open come join and what There is no next step. There has to be stages, like you know. I think that's something super actionable that you've given for Absolutely. anybody. Like for when when it comes to kickstarting a community, you need to have some kind of an Absolutely. action. For yes, yes. You give them like next fifteen days. You do this. There has to be a journey for a member to become like super, super, super member. There, there's a whole graph for a member. You know, like you give them the doing things. This is how you will contribute. Then you will do this. Can you illustrate that graph? For example, tell us a, an example of a community that you have helped with and what the initial steps have been. See, simple. I'll say this. This all is part of onboarding. Hmm. okay good onboarding if you'll plan and strategize a good onboarding this is what happens you know like you know your member first of all make it very easy for your members to understand what is happening in this community once they come let them yeah, do for example if it's on discord yeah. like, are, are you talking about the start here channels and all yeah that? absolutely so start here cha- so uh, first of all discord is if a new user is coming and he has never been to discord for them discord is a mess okay it's very difficult 
it's not an easy channel to wise okay? okay or maybe maybe you think of an audience who is 30 plus for them it's becoming even more harder okay so just imagine like so you need to figure out ways for your onboarding maybe you have need to i, I wish you said 40 plus <laughs> no i'm saying 30 plus is actually because discord is mostly for the for the gen z that's for right? gamers and everyone that yeah. those people have picked up and now i think whole web3 is working on it so so uh, my point is that that you need to work on your onboarding these members don't tell them like you know don't just make one start here channel and you feel like it will be uh, over they will get it no give them nudges from your email give them nudges maybe over dm give them uh, put a put a specific uh, every week one kind of a, a session on how to use discord or how to use this community more you know like you keep on doing that yeah. you need to you need to tell your members how to use and make use of this community how to contribute and get benefit out of it you need to keep on telling them you are the head of the house you know, you need to tell these are the rules and these are the ways you can make the most out of it. That's how you, you bringing them together to help them, right? To, to, and then ultimately when they, when you help them, it helps you. That's how, that's the concept, right? You give, 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 and then take back, right? Like Jack, 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 Hook, like Gary Vee's yeah, yeah. thing. So I think, I think you have to have better onboarding. You have to tell your, uh, like, you know, convey this really nicely to your members. Like, you know, these are the ways you can contribute. These are the ways you can access this channel. These are the ways you can make, make the most out of it. And then, that's how that's Fantastic. Most, yeah. onboarding contribution uh, great insights how about ac- acquisition like how about getting more members yeah. into the community yeah, yeah. so w- what are some uh, h- h- how do you propose so i'm people? i'm a big fan of okay my word will be uh, will be content here hmm. okay when i say content content is not just a post it's not just a poll it's not just um, uh, like you know um, a quiz it's all of it okay so i i feel uh, so there's a saying. It sounds like a lot of work. It is. <laughs> it is. It's pain in the ass. <laughs> it is twenty four seven, man. So, so there's a there's a saying. If content is the king, community is the queen. So content and community they go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Okay. So for the content piece, um, work on on the content in a manner that when your member comes here, it actually helps him. Why do you go to Twitter and every time scroll all by yourself? You don't get bored of that. Right, but you get bored of Discord because on Twitter, you know, you will every time you scroll, you will get some new information. That's my idea. How about what this starts happening? That whole curated thing start happening in your community. How about your members start getting so much of benefit that you are curating things and those things he's getting in his newsletter and his different channels. He's getting that kind of content through the events, offline, online, every damn thing. Like you know, make your play on the content. Okay. Go go over quality rather than quantity. Produce five blocks, four blocks in a month, but high quality hardcore content of your niche and then you see the difference you will start getting those people and then once you once you start acquiring those people we are talking about acquisition yeah. through that then you start building a relationship with them it's it can how does content convert to community so yeah so so content will attract you put a blog in the blog you will when he will he will get the information in the end it will be written for more such things join a community okay, okay. i am already being bought by reading such a good blog Okay, I will definitely come join you. Okay, I'm already being bought by attending such content rich event. Okay, where, where I'm getting, I will definitely come join your community. Once I'll join, I'll build, then comes my onboarding. Okay, acquisition happened, then comes my onboarding. My onboarding is so smooth and so much of uh, personal relationship or like, you know, or nudges are there that people will think, okay, I have been welcomed really well. And I have been told how to be become part of this community and do more. And then your community manager and your members, your inner circle is making relationship with them or maybe bringing, like, you know, uh, inviting and welcoming, welcoming the new member. You know, all that culture you have to build. So th- through the content, through your and content, I told you, content is, is all pieces are content. Your events, offline, online, your newsletter, your uh, blogs, your videos, everything is content. So so work on that good content. Figure out what people are here for. Help them in all ways, like all the possible ways. And then through the content, when they will ch- like you know uh, consume it, consume that content, ultimately uh, you tell them, come for more, come join us. And that's how the acquisition happened. That's the right way of acquiring right people through right content you know rather than have, having mass and then making them go idle yes. so you've described a few different concepts here and all very useful just to to bring that to life okay what is let's talk about resources what kind of resources do you need mm-hmm. to maintain uh to set up onboarding and to maintain a community like this mm-hmm. and uh even content like content okay i guess we don't have to discuss that people know how to create videos and tweets and all that but in terms of the infrastructure yeah okay 
So, um, so okay, for a brand, let's break it down. To have this community, and I love hybrid model of community, not just events, offline, but online and offline. If you do an offline event, those people should have a place once they leave the offline space to connect online. So that is, that's why you require an online space, maybe a Discord server or a WhatsApp group or a LinkedIn or whatever platform you want to use. So, so having said that, uh, you need an online platform. Okay. Free or paid depends on the community you want to build depends on the people where your people are and uh, then you need uh, resources resources uh, when i say uh, resources i mean uh, community manager uh, graphics guy content guy you know like content strategist all such kind of people a small team to, to run this to develop their relationships then you need uh, resources as in form of um, basically giveaways it could be merchandise, it could be some tokens you're giving, it could be uh, grants you're giving, such kind of thing. Then you need resources to run events. Okay, so uh, either you run your own events or you get your volunteers run events, so you help them do those things. So these, so there is, uh, when you talk about uh, the infra for community, you need a platform, okay? You need a team, so your resources go there, and then you need a, a budget to run the whole community. These are the three places, three things you require on top. Okay, okay. Yeah. I had something in mind and just like, give me a second there. Uh, just to con- I, on that note itself, I wanted to continue on something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we'll just, so you mentioned also like free or paid, like mm-hmm. the, what, what is the importance of that? Like, are th- are, is it different if it's free and if it's paid? Free and paid? Community. Free, okay. Free and paid. Yeah. Okay. If, if I'm saying, uh, I mentioned online and offline as in hybrid model, but free and paid is also something which we can talk about. I think you can see a very good example, which uh, NFT is making right now. Communities are not, earlier it used to be subscriptions. Now it's NFTs. Hmm. If you want NFT, then only you can buy. It's like a subscription only, but now it's very cool. And Web3 is giving us the the way to, yeah. yeah. So, so actually I will say that, you know, if you can really build good utility of a community and if it's really valuable, then paid communities are better, you know, like re- for real, because people come with a, with right mood and right intention. Nobody pays even a penny yeah. to, if they're not interested. Okay. For, so for example, like I, I run this project, Salman needs a job. I have this discord called who needs a job mm-hmm. that I want to like en- el- en- engage others in yeah. creating content, but I'm just scared to put this link in public. I don't want people to just jump mm-hmm. in and being like, mm-hmm. hold day, and uh, <laughs> like it's going to be an empty. Mm-hmm. server. Mm-hmm. so it's, I think, yeah, getting, uh, getting is important, but if you're getting also work on the value, okay. Okay. But because that is important. Uh, if I've gated with, with any tool, NFT or cash or subscription, whatever, but if I'm paying there, trying to give, try to give 10 X. Okay. At least in communities, it's like that. Okay. And communities are going to be like, it's already a product. If you see. Okay, you yeah. you helping them find a job. It's like Nokri.com. It's a product. But right now they can access Nokri for free. Though they can do more things and go like LinkedIn Premium. They can buy. Yeah. So such things are there. So you have to go until that level to actually help them. Or yeah. you need to bring out those extra services. If you have paid, you get access to these services. Then your community will survive and those members will stay. How about uh, curating the members? Is like how how do you cur- how do you get the right how do you attract the right community? You, okay. Absolutely. Like I told you, first answer was content. If people coming through the content, first is a very good way. Second, ask for referrals. Okay, right people will bring right people. Yeah. Second, okay. second is that that's how you acquire good people. And then once you start building the culture, then only those people will start coming. And then you then you are already putting gated and, and paid kind of things. I think that is already cutting down the bullshit and giving you the right people. So when you're looking, thinking about growing a community, okay. So is it important to grow the community or is it like the, what is the balance between growing and adding value to the community? Yeah. So the, uh, very, very, uh, good question you have put. Okay. And I think, uh, this should work like a message to, to people, those who are listening. So I would, I would like to say, uh, uh, that from your stakeholders, this is to my fellow community builder tribe. Okay. From your stakeholders, you, you get to listen that your community is not growing. What the hell is happening? You're investing so much. Uh, there is so, so less members. So you actually, and we all have to actually advocate this, that the, 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 the bunch of people, those who are there, if they are more valuable than the number of people, we can actually focus on that. But then I'm not against growth. I'm, I'm 
against wrong growth okay mm-hmm. i'm against like where you just work just for numbers my suggestion will be a uh, little bit tweak your matrix maybe add a metric like member help mm-hmm. how many members are really getting help you can figure out ways uh, for the help of these members and then you can start uh, picking that up like you know this is the kind of help uh, we are providing maybe helping them with with new ideas new content or finding people or whatever whatever so work on such kind of things and then that kind of that kind of growth strategy you use you know like if that way you are growing then it's a it's a good way to grow rather than just focusing on number like last one we have 3000 people uh, next one we need 9000 people don't try to do exponential all by yourself okay because creating value and going through building uh, uh, relationships is going to take already a slow time to grow mm. but usually communities they blast after a certain point of time so you need to still yeah. till that time you need to keep on like you know working on it and keep on providing value okay. so that be my point so how about uh, fostering conversations uh, mm. within these communities like how do you do that how do you like make people in the within the community add value to each other yeah that's what so i think uh, that's that's how you ra- you raise the culture okay that's how that's actually on the community manager and so and your strategy tactics yeah tactics F- absolutely first of all i told you content okay <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, so yeah so go go that's great to hear that's yeah. great to hear that content has such a strong role in absolutely all as a creator yeah yeah we have content content is the full game inside you know once you make this whole circle of community mm-hmm. inside what will happen is content conversation will happen on content people will connect on content people will do any damn thing on content okay okay um how do you do that involve your members in building content that's how they contribute also and know each other as well okay? okay an example we used to do these export roundups we call them okay uh every tuesday we used to do it in community folks uh, we used to call it um some tuesdays i forgot what used to be that okay. that ritual so in that ritual what we'll do uh, we'll put up a question let's say um uh, tactics to to grow our community hmm. and then all the members the good ones will start my tactics was okay, this okay. mine was this mine was this by next tuesday Pictures. we will yeah by next tuesday we will make a blog out of it eight wow. tactics yeah. to grow the community slash expert roundup community folks and all those eight tactics are given by eight members their name goes so for them it's a all contributed crowdsourced knowledge built by my community by the members and out for everyone that's how you involve your members they are also happy that their contribution has been put at some some place and like it's been repeated so it's it's a win win for everyone and you're building content that's how you so build bring your members and like you know let them do things and bring them in your plan launch your programs through your members uh, okay, have okay. more things around volunteers so that's how you start doing that that is one yeah. good hack to uh, make your members know each other and then events hmm. you first bring bring them together and then find ways to connect them with each other okay. once you once you do that you you're on like you know like my suggestion uh if your members are coming to your meetup to your community meetup first of all make sure that it feels like a community meetup and then second thing try making everyone meet everyone if you can break that whatever your tactic is if you can make that do sweet dating do any kind of games i don't know but if you can give one one member who has come alone at least five more friends from their meetup you're done like you know next time next time you're on those will come because because this is a habit of people they will always see who are all coming Yeah remember on facebook used to happen five of your friends are also coming yeah, even yeah. this was their hack yeah, yeah, yeah. so you see that okay my known for person is there okay i'll also go that's all that's human psychology right so you see that you want to so give people friendship give them a chance to have relationships and and that's on like you know they will love it and they will definitely come back so a lot of these communities that we are familiar with i guess uh are uh, volunteer driven mm. so what is your view on that like having paid contributors versus volunteer and where is the line between that no i think see so the thing is uh even the contributors are contributors okay if your community uh, has good business model then you can somehow incentivize them also right now web3 gives us tool to incentivize which is really which is the power of uh, communities in in power of web3 like you know of, or power of this technology for communities so that is that is what i'm saying you know like uh i feel incentivization is important rewards are important rewards keeps them motivated but you have to mindfully choose rewards okay um they need not to be very extrinsic they can be intrinsic also right you can uh, uh, like you know putting your top contributors photograph as your twitter uh, picture mm-hmm. of the brand okay, give okay. them so much of push okay. you know 
think of the such ways those are like like a like a real way to to really say that you you have contributed and you really matter to us people want two ways you can help people monetary or reputation right okay help them in any way i think i think bring them bring them these kind of values people uh, because they have contributed with the real heart you tell them you have helped us we are there to help you we are there to push you it's a it's like a win win game it's better together right it's, it cannot be alone you are not building if the day you will think about you are building the community just for yourself never forget never forget that people who can take you up they can pull you down now uh, we'll talk about uh, becoming a good uh, community professional okay so just help me understand first of all what is like the job description of uh, community professional community manager like mm. and uh, just generally how is the opportunity for mm. that role mm. okay uh this is like the golden era for community man <laughs> okay like i, I want to discuss about web3 actually we'll uh, next but I'm go just, ahead go ahead. this is about, the, i'm just yeah. talking about overall community managers uh be it web3 or web2 brands have understood that communities are important and to run that community they need a community manager still there is not much awareness around the role of a community manager okay so sometimes you join on the role of a community manager but do you do sales because even the stakeholder don't know what they're yeah. supposed to do so that is still happening but the profession is growing and uh, it's a proper domain it's called community management right and uh, it's a big scope and second uh, this overall community as a skill is a top notch skill okay like uh, if you see to it Uh, on twitter these threads i have seen a lot of places like top 3 skills for 2021 and community building is on the second one mm-hmm. so there's a reason people are saying you know like every founder needs to learn it everybody needs to be- it's because creators they are they are they are they are themselves founders they are solo founders so for them learning communities is important so whole creator world should understand how communities uh, uh, are important for them and how to use community approach at least to do whatever they are doing then all the organizations which are d2c they they should definitely so get it creators this. have a community uh, this one element in element element and they should learn they should, they should learn. learn community first mindset that they'll apply and uh, uh, the fans which they have they can turn those fans into their members okay it's okay. a game okay. yeah good 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 and uh, in terms of like uh, pay and everything how is the whole profession oh okay i want to uh, i think i might not be right in my figures or i might be right i remember reading somewhere that that it's in web3 some somewhere some some job but this community manager uh, got up got up a uh, salary of 180k for random that's like footballers man <laughs> so that's crazy i remember <laughs> i like footballers yeah i remember only only 18k inr <laughs> monthly as a salary uh you know in in india and now it's 180k 180000 dollars for insane so so this is where it is going um uh it's good but it's sad also is giving uh, wrong expectations to the kids who are just coming out of the college uh, running a college club or something and they are expecting that they will uh, land up with a job which pays them maybe 20 lpa or beyond that it's good that you are getting that money um it's good that you are being valued your work is valued but the difficulty is that right now the market is giving you that much it's not actually the work because because even the stakeholders don't know what community has to be done what how it has to be done so when when this whole thing will fade away the problem which will occur is that the value of community they will ask they will ask about the roi and then it's very difficult to to show yeah. the roi of the community and when that this will not happen they will ask you what the hell you are doing here Got taking it. so much of money so that that is why that is the sad part but the good part for someone like me and someone like uh, us like my whole tribe uh, who has been uh, doing this superhuman job without cape <laughs> i think uh, it's a good sign Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So this is something I wanted to ask. That that's where I lost my train of thought earlier, which is about all this work, the ROI for companies, mm-hmm. like everything that you described, onboarding, contribution, all. The, mm-hmm. Like what what is like the ROI? What what are they getting uh, in return for this? Yeah, many things you can get from your community. Okay. Uh, so like this side uh, product or this uh, the the ultimate value or whatever you call that i i'm not getting the right word but the the main value which you can get out of community or by building community is your brand so it ultimately makes you brand okay when you start doing community you start bringing people together so branding is your thing you make you can okay i'll tell you through community by building one community which is a gold mine i call uh you can impact all the department of your company 
a good community helps you with brand building a good community helps you with marketing a good community helps you with building content for your content team okay good community helps you with sales okay because these are the first members the you target them these are your first first people you can sell things a good company will help you with referrals uh, community and good community will help your product because they will give feedback to make a better product so you can make a better one so imagine like all the Fantastic. domain in a company can be impacted by a, by building a right community. That so, is awesome. That is fantastic. Now, I want to ask on that um, on the same note: is how do you become? Like, is there something like a good community member? Mm-hmm. So, as like how, how, how any invo- any any tips on that, or just like what what do you feel is a good community member? Respect. <laughs> Respect is the word which I want to uh, preach. Because I practice it. Okay. Um, I run few communities and I am member of few communities and respect is something which I first keep in my head. And, uh, uh, because somebody is building a community, uh, and trying to bring you together, you need to be respectful. And, uh, if you're coming with an intention of just taking, think of, mm-hmm. think of this that, you know, if you'll keep on digging, 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 someday it'll be empty. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it's a community. Okay. If you come here, come here with a sense of giving and taking. I think that's, that will keep the balance as a good human. Also, we are also as a human, you and me, we are also part of this community called humanity, right? Somehow we also give back some way. If all of us start taking, we are doomed, bro. Right. <laughs> so, so a good human with the things which he has to do for this humanity for this universe similarly a good member has to do this thing for this specific community you have to have those intentions have to have those ways to always give back and then maybe uh take as well you know you don't don't i'm not just saying come and contribute and do nothing contribute once you will contribute the community manager who's making is already going to recognize and do things for you so good member is someone like you know who thinks of giving back also and respect what what he's part of so I think, you I think awesome. so you we consult companies and brands right with community what are the challenges they face what are the questions they ask you like mostly like mm. where, where what roadblocks they have what are the what do they come come to you with mm. so okay um first roadblock um uh, what community has to be built okay they think that somebody will tell them do events and they'll start doing events but then they'll ask what is the roi people came ate my food have the free beer and left so I think having a good strategy and then building a community is required. So what community has to be built is the first thing, first exercise, which I do with founders, you know, finding that niche of the community. So that is their one problem. Then second problem is engagement. They're always stuck with engagement. And then I told you the solution of engagement, mm-hmm. work on content, content. Okay. It's a slow approach, but that is the only approach, the only right approach. Mm-hmm. Work on content, involve your members in the content. Okay. So those, those, that is the second problem. And third problem is growth. Okay. They all want growth. So you have to tell them right ways of growth. It's not there that it will not grow, but I told you community takes little time to reach up to that level. And then it blast. It has the, the potential okay, to blast, okay. but until then you have to keep on giving and keep on doing things. But it will blast surely. So yeah, that's awesome. 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 Now, finally, let's get into web three. <laughs> okay. So what do you feel? What do you feel? Why, what is the whole buzz around community? What's happening? Like I, I totally, I, I get it. Mm. Uh, I'm part of a few communities and uh, I am addicted to them. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, there is, I feel nowadays when I use a product and mm. uh, there is no community, mm. I almost like it irritates me. Mm. And even if th- there is a bad community, also it irritates me. Like if they don't respond on discord, like it's yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I understand, but like, how did this happen? Like you also moved into web three, um, recently, recently. So t- tell me a little bit about that. All right. So, um, I think wrong intentions have made this happen. Okay. Um, I think this whole ecosystem, um, I felt was way too driven by moolah by tokens by money and that's why everybody jumped in and started saying we are building community and they came to, uh, they figure out hacks so it's not difficult to bring people because they even when they got yeah that's what and and even those people those who are coming as a member in the community they also coming for the money so those intention setting was wrong that first step was only wrong you know the communities were not launched with a sense of community they were launched with 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 the greed 
intention with luring people with those yeah. tokens so i think that intention setting has made this and and how much uh, you do however you you uh, talk about strategy but there there are like some principles like true principles of building a good community you know like and they they are lot more derived from humanity like you know lot more derived from uh, good, uh, human principles you know like like so so my point is that those things are really really important while you building and setting up a good community that whole culture you need to build uh, the founder has to set up a community first mindset in their com- company it's not, it should not be like we need community because we need to sell tokens or i need to push out my nft your nfts are out you are gone you're not even taking care of the members who have who have bought the nft has done there is no utility don't do that mm-hmm. i think if they have come they have they have shown respect to you they have they have taken things with you then maybe you keep on working and keep on doing for them so so i think uh, it's a lot more chaotic right now okay even though this whole market which has gone down be everything happening so i think yeah. it's still getting little uh, better and it's going to get better 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 little stable because right now it's everybody's in a rush but uh, but good communities can only be built here if first of all right intention right strategies are are put at one place these are like super important and i found out both those things are missing at the moment no strategies only fomo okay first of all that is the whole funda on which communities are being built and uh, second one is uh, wrong intention yeah like very wrong intentions how, how has web3 impacted your career now like are you like fully dedicated to not just web3 we are a community building firm we do we do communities whatever it is you you have a cycle brand you want to build a community around that we do that you have a decentralized exchange you want to build a community around that we do that so it's like it's a business to us uh, be it any world uh, the concept of building communities are same the frameworks are same it's just tools change maybe strategies change content style change you know your approach and execution change but fundas are same so we are having all things but for community in web3 we launched this initiative i told you before community, community 3.0 oh, yeah. web3.0 so, all the links will be in the description yep so so that's that's majorly about it but through community 3.0 we are not actually looking much from the client side at the moment we are more looking is aspect to creating content and creating value for community builders so that they can at least follow this and make better communities you know like they might have started on wrong intention and wrong means but you can always make it better any day yeah awesome i think this is an, an awesome conversation awesome i especially appreciate the you know the 0 to 0 to 1 yeah. so what do you describe super anything else you want to touch on anything you want to yeah. closing thoughts closing thoughts um Good, good. Build communities, <laughs> not audiences. What's the, what's the difference? What's the difference in audience and community? Oh wow! I asked the same question to what, Sandeep yesterday. Yeah, same question. I wanted to ask. Okay, audience is not a contributor. Okay, audience is your Twitter follower basically, or I'll say audience is like one to many. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And community is many to many. Okay. Easy way out. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Awesome. I'm very glad we did this. Uh, this is a very important topic, and this I think uh, anybody watching uh, will find it valuable. Uh, subscribe to Salman needs a job, um, and also like I have a juice box campaign on. If you want to support what I'm doing, uh, please uh, consider contributing. I was on the juice box, guys. You did.